Hey guys, Crystal here from Krista Co Design. Today we are working up the Litorina shawl, which is an easy rectangle shawl made with worsted weight yarn and a six millimeter hook. I am using Brava in the color Seraphin. And your gauge is 12 double crochets by seven rows of double crochet in four inches. If you don't meet that gauge, you can go up or down a hook size and swatch again. The finished shawl is 60 inches by 21 inches deep. You will chain 205 for a 60 inch long shawl. Okay, we're working with a stitch multiple of four plus one more. For row one, we're going to skip the first five chains and work into the sixth chain. I'm going to turn my chain over and work under the back loop here. We're going to work five double crochets all in that same loop. Our skip chains here will count, the top three will count as our double crochet, our first one of this, the row, and then we have five double crochets all in the sixth chain. Now for our repeat, we're going to skip the next three chains and work five double crochets in the following chain. Skip three chains, work five double crochets in the next. Just repeat that across your entire row. Once you have repeated that across the row and you have only three chains left in your row, you're going to double you're going to skip two and double crochet in the last. And that will complete row 1. Okay, so for row 2, we're going to turn and we'll start with the chain 3. I'm going to use an alternative stitch here. And I can link up how to do that in the description below. Skip these first two stitches. And in the middle stitch, the third one, we're going to place a double crochet, chain three, and go back into the same stitch and place another double crochet. Then we're going to skip four stitches, these two, three, four, and in the third double crochet of the next shell, we're going to place the same thing, a double crochet. Chain three and a double crochet back into that same stitch. Now we'll just keep repeating that across. Skip four, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next stitch.
Once you get to the end of the row, you're going to have three stitches left. Skip the two double crochets, and then the top of this chain, you're going to place a double crochet. Turn your work and start row three. We're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet in a chain one. So I'm going to use my alternative double crochet, alternative chain three, sorry, that counts as a double crochet. Then I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to place three double crochets in the chain three space. Then we'll chain two, and we're going to skip two stitches, these two double crochets, and then we'll place three double crochets in our chain three space. Okay, repeat that across until there are two stitches left. Then we're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet in the last, which is a chain three alternative for me, maybe the top of the third chain for you. For row four, turn and start with a chain three. Skip two stitches and work into the center double crochet. Place two double crochets all in that same stitch. Chain one and place two double crochets back into the same stitch. Now we're going to skip the next four, so we'll skip our chains and our first double crochet, our last double crochet here, skip these two chains and skip our first double crochet of the next one. We're going to work into the center double crochet here and we're going to place two double crochets. Chain one, go back into the same stitch and place two more double crochets. And we'll just repeat that across the row. Skip, work into the center double crochet. Once you get to the end of the row, you'll have two, you'll have three stitches left, double crochet, chain one, and then your chain three or alternative there. That counts as your last double crochet here. So these three stitches are left. We're going to skip two and double crochet in the last. Okay, now row five is next. Turn your work, start with the chain three. Skip two, work into the chain one space, place five double crochets there.
Now we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, work into the chain one space, place five double crochets all in that chain one space, and that is our repeat across the row. Skip these two and double crochet in your last stitch. And from there, you are just going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five again. So you keep repeating those for um, eight repeats or 33 rows total and you have a 20 and a half inch tall um, shawl or to the height that you want. You can stop after a row five, however you decide to increase or decrease your shawl. Then I put a border around this shawl to give it a really finished look. And so that is what we will do next. Okay, once you have finished repeating and your shawl is as tall as you like, it's time to add your border and the border is just going to continue from our last row five repeat which is the shell stitch of five double crochets in one spot. So we ended the row with a double crochet in the last spot and we are just going to turn and create a shell right there of five double crochets. So we have one we ended with. I'm going to count that as one and then place four more in that same spot. So we just have turned the corner there. Now we are going to continue down our edge and we will skip and work down into the next row, placing five double crochets there, all in the side of the same stitch. And then we'll repeat that along the edge. Skip about a row's worth and then work into the next stitch with five double crochets. Okay, once you reach the next corner, you're going to turn and be working on the chain, starting chain row. So here we have our first shell on our chain row there, or our last one. And so we're not going to work into this chain, we're going to work in between the shells. So we're going to work our border shell stitch here and skip these and work our border shell stitches in between. So then we'll just skip over that one and go into the skipped three chain space and place five double crochets. Oh, actually. We'll go into the center chain of the skipped three chains between those.
and then we'll skip the shell stitch chain work into the middle chain of the skip chains from that row place five double crochets And just keep repeating that across the row. So here when we get to the corner, we have those chains right there from where we skip our chains to start uh, to start our chain. So we're just going to go into the middle one, one, two, three, which is that one here, just like we've been doing. There's just more of them there and it's the corner. Okay, so that gets us across our bottom chain row into the next corner. We're going to turn and just like the first edge, we're going to work up the edge into the side of the double crochets, skip about a row's worth, and then work into the next stitch into the side of the, the next stitch there with your five double crochets all in the same spot. And repeat that up that edge. Okay, so on your last one, you are going to slip stitch join it to the first double crochet in that um, last round there, which is here. Since our last round is a, is a set of shell stitches, just like we're doing around the border, you can just join it there. And that's all you need to do. Cut your yarn and weave in your ends. All right, and that is how you make the Litorina shawl. I hope you enjoyed this easy shawl pattern. And I'd love it if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to stop by my website, CrysticoDesign.com, for more crochet patterns and tutorials.